What's up guys, it's Zen. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm sure you've heard on the news recently that everyone within Kuala Lumpur and Selangor will be required to work from home starting from 22nd of October and this will allow them to have some time to look at the stock market since they have more freedom at home. In the first MCO that happened, we observed a huge spike in retail participation in the stock market and I think that this time will be no different. More eyes on the stock market means more potential volume and volatility and that is what we have to take advantage of. So I wanted to make this quick video just to show you what I'm going to be looking at for the rest of October and what my expectations are so that you can watch it with me as well. Quick disclaimer, this is not a suggestion to buy or sell any stocks. I'm just sharing what stocks I look at every day and why I look at them. Your goal should be to pick out and understand why I look at these stocks rather than using this as a stock pick so that you can identify these stocks by yourself as well. And before I jump into the video, if you haven't already liked the video, please help me smash the like button and subscribe while you're down there. I really appreciate all of your support. Okay, let's get right into the stocks. On the right, you can see my watch list. I'm sure you are familiar with some of the names like Top Glove, Supermax, Comfort, these are all healthcare stocks or rather glove stocks and these are the stocks that I mainly trade every single day. I choose to trade these stocks mainly because this is what everyone else is looking at. The reason why there's so many people looking at these stocks is because of the amount of hype they've been getting. I'm sure you've heard on the news multiple times over the past few months that the gloves like Top Glove and Supermax have been going crazy, making over 100% gains over a few days. And the hype is also carried by the need for gloves over the pandemic. And it so happens that we are the largest supplier of gloves in the world. So I mainly trade Comfort and Rubber X on a day-to-day -day basis. You can see a few trades that are marked on the chart, which I'll go through later. As for Top Glove and Supermax, I trade these sometimes. But because of how expensive they are, I try to avoid them. As for Kosan and Hata Lega, these don't really get much volume out of the two. As you can see, Top Glove and Supermax, they get about 70 to 80 million volume, while Kosan and Hata Lega only picks up about 10 million volume per day. And since I play momentum, I need a lot of volume to push the price up or down. Now, on to the next group. I also look at the pharmacies. So, the Pharma and Pharma Niaga and it also Bintai and Solution because these are the main contenders for bringing in the vaccine to our country and anticipation around these stocks keep the hype around them so I'm always looking at them on the side even though they don't really pull much action day to day but they can come alive out of nowhere so this is where I try and catch them and just keep them on my watch list I do look at tech from time to time, but because of their low liquidity, I'm not too big of a fan of playing um, tech stocks, mainly because I, I tend to buy upwards of 100, 200 lots at once. But tech stocks usually only have about 50 lots per price level, and that's a bit too small for me. So I tend to avoid them just because I'm afraid that when I try to sell, I can't really sell at my desired price. And lastly, at the bottom, I usually place penny stocks that have moved a lot the previous day. I usually leave the penny stocks here because I'm looking for a continuation of the momentum. As you can see for PCCS, they had a really strong move late morning yesterday, but unfortunately they didn't carry over today. As for green energy tech solution as well, they limit up yesterday with strong, strong momentum at the start. But unfortunately again, no continuation. So for the rest of October, I will mainly be looking at Comfort and Rubber Rex because they seem to be the big movers in the past few days and also Supermax and Top Glove because they usually influence the market the most. As for the Pharma stocks, I will be watching out for vaccine news before deciding to play any of these stocks. Now, it's easy to pinpoint stocks like Comfort and Rubber Rex, but how do I find penny stocks every single day? How do I pick the penny stocks that move the most? Well, the answer is really simple. I use my stock screener and I usually have it filtered by the top percent gainer. So in this list, I can basically run through them every single day to look at basically the top gainers of the day. It's a bit lackluster today, but MCE holding ran about 29% today. So we can check out the graph. 
my first impressions of the graph is it's super ugly. If you see that the stock is jumping in big gaps, that means that there's not enough supply for you to trade it because such more amount of volume can cause the stock to jump 40 cents and that is very dangerous. As for post Malaysia, you can see a really strong move today. Very nice breakout. I instantly put an alert here when I saw it because I was waiting for it to pull back up to the day high. But unfortunately, it did not follow through. But I will keep this on my watch list. I'll add it to the bottom. I'll keep this on my watch list in case it continues its momentum tomorrow. So I'm just going to run through a few trades that I've done over the past few days just to show you how I trade these kind of stocks like Comfort and Rubber X. Since all the other glove stocks moved together, I was watching Top Glove as well. And I noticed that Top Glove started panic selling really hard here at about 11.40. And all the other glove stocks follow suit as well. So when Top Glove started rebounding, this is where I decided to enter the comfort. This is what I call dip buying. When I see a stock dip really hard, I'll try to catch the bottom and ride the rebound all the way back up. You can also buy breakouts on stocks like these. For example, on Rubberx, it had a really nice breakout just two days ago. As you can see, a typical breakout strategy. If you haven't already seen my video, I'm, I'll link it on the top right. So you can see right here, strong move in the morning, pullback, coming up to day high. I bought in the day high right here about 280. I saw half into my profit target and then the rest when I saw selling pressure come in. And later in the day, it actually tried to break out as well. I actually bought into this new day high of 301, but unfortunately it didn't continue. And when it failed, I sold it for a small loss. So what do I think will happen in the next few days? Judging from the charts, sorry, let me remove these drawings. So judging from the chart, it looks like there's just a, it's starting to sell off. But if you can hold this, if you can hold the previous consolidation level of about 4 ringgit 30 cents, I expect it to continue moving upwards, maybe breaking its recent highs of about 550. And if it breaks this point right here, I will expect it to keep moving up to 550 without any resistance at all. And if it breaks that again, well, the next resistance will probably be about 610. So there's a lot of upside available, but only if you can hold this support level. So we'll see how it plays out in the next few days. I'll be watching for breakouts. I'll be watching for more dips if there's more panic selling. So that is my game plan for the next few days. Hope you find some value in this video and I'll see you in the next one. Hi there, quick note. You should follow my Instagram if you're interested to know what I trade because I'm starting to post my trades on my Instagram story. I'll put a link to my Instagram in the description so that you can go and check it out. Okay, take care, bye.